Alright, so we're going to start off with an 18 inch round balloon for the head. I'm going to get two 12 inch rounds. I'm going to put them slightly together. Fold up a little bit. And stuff it all the way in. Leaving two nozzles exposed here. Alright, I'm going to inflate the outer layer. Almost all the way, slightly bigger than the 12 inch. Inflate the insides. So we're trying to make them equal. Inflate the other one. So don't tie them off first. Go on. So into the nozzles inside the balloon and just let go the air outside of the balloon so you have something like this so you try to make it slightly bigger if you want to so usually what I do is I inflate one side first to the desired size that I want then I'll tie off now I can manage the other balloon inside easily if it's getting too difficult to inflate the other side inflate the outer layer again Then you can move on to the inner layer. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna inflate the other layer, the other balloon I mean. It's always better to inflate more first, and then you can let go the outer layer. Let's see if the size are the same. You can see they are roughly the same So you can tie them off and Something like this right, That's when you can Insert the last 12 inch Into the 18 inch round So put it in again So after you put it in, the 12 inch round, same thing, you gotta inflate the outer layer first. Alright, I got the same thing, inflate the 12 inch inside. Something like this. And then you're gonna hold on to the trophic inside and let go of the air on the 18 inch. So you should have something like a triangle, like this. Alright. Gonna tie it off. And then the next part is quite tricky. So you can see that now the nozzle is on the top over here. Gotta shift them, shift this nozzle over here to the middle somewhere over here, or here, or here. Alright, so you can tie in 
the head into the body. So what to do, what to, what to do next is to inflate this 18 inch round. Inflate it until you can somehow feel the 12 inch inside, it's kind of loose. So it's kind of, kind of a little bit loose inside, where, like when you hit it, you can move a little bit. Right, that's when you can slowly shape it. So the trick is to push down somewhere from the top and bottom. So you're gonna push down with your body and your hands, you're gonna push it. And then try off, try to move it as well together by squeezing the top and the bottom, the blue. And try to find the center point of the two balloons. Let's give it a try. Sometimes you might need a few more tries to get it. So let, let, let go of the air slowly. Sometimes if it's really too difficult, right? You can even cut off the nozzle and reach your entire hand into the balloon and shift it. But in this case, you're just doing a triangle, so it's not really necessary. Kind of. You can see, now the nozzle over here is in the middle of these two balloons over here. Alright, so kind of slowly let go of the air. Okay, there we have it, something like this. Alright, so next we're going to do raisins, we're going to get a long balloon, any long balloon will do. Tie a knot. So this knot over here, you can see this knot over here. Alright, that's when you're going to tear it off. So you have this thing over here, like this. I'm gonna do two of it, so one more. Tear it off. So we have one, two of this. Alright, so two of this. So we're gonna do it one by one. The objective is to put the nozzle into the 18 inch round and shift it all the way over here and the other one over here so I'm going to do two raisin twists over here alright let's try put one first so you put it in, it's a bit tricky to shift it all the way You can see it's over here, right now. This green, green color prison over here. So you have to kind of slowly push, push it. We try the other way. Push the other way. All the way. Here. You can see this nozzle over here, if I hold it with my finger, see, it's right over here. Alright, so you're going to put in another, another, another raisin all the way in and move it up all the way over here. So we have one on each end. So let's take the other one, place it in, I'm going to shift it to my left. It's kind of over here. Ship it to my left. Oh, 
moving too fast. I kind of lost it in sight. Where is it? it again. So you can see it's quite difficult to get it. On the first try sometimes you might get it. One on each end, you can see the one on my right is a bit taller, a bit higher. So we're gonna kind of shift it downwards a little. So we kind of pull it over here and kind of pull up the skin, the balloon. So you'll kind of fall down naturally. Oops, it fell down all the way here. I'll shift it back up again. Alright, so you got one over here and one over here. So they are somewhat on equal level and on both sides. So you grab your remaining 260 that you did the raisin from. You're gonna hold it with your thumbs and index. Your pinky and fourth finger, you're gonna hold on. To the balloon like this okay gonna roll it stretch it and tie it around a few times so you have something like this all right and we're just gonna, gonna tie it off two knots one knot Two knots. All right. I'm gonna tear it away. So something like this. To one end. Now let's shift on to the other end over here. Same thing. Gonna grab it. Pull it up. Like this. Here. Now I'm pitching on to the raisin. Same thing. My pinky and fourth finger is gonna hold on to the long balloon. Gonna stretch it and wrap it around. A few rounds. Alright. See? Same thing. Gonna tie it off. Knot and two knots. So you have something like this over here on one end and the other end. Both ends, alright? Both ends got their raisin twist. Same thing we don't need such a long balloon to tear it off. Now I'm gonna do on the hat. I'm gonna get two 360 rates and inflate it up. Around this long. Long. 
we are going to do a pinch twist. Yes. Fine to it. Do a dead knot. Same thing for this side. We're gonna do a pinch twist. Tie it to the other end. Tie a dead knot. So you have one balloon on each end. And bring one balloon across to the other side. Like this. And tie it into the other pinch twist over here. So this is the balloon that just got tied into this pinch twist over here. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to take the other one. Move it around the back. To this pinch twist over here. Something like this. See, both ends is tied across the forehead. Then you're gonna move up one level. So over here, we do a bubble and a pinch twist. Lock it. Okay, one bubble and a pinch twist. Same thing on this side. One bubble and one pinch twist. So one bubble. One pinch twist. Then tie it up. Alright, there you go. The same thing on this end. I'm gonna bring this to the other side. And this we got it to the other side. So we're gonna start with this end first. So bring it to this side. So let's tie it to this pinch twist over here. side to the other pinterest over here there we go it should look something like this so i'm going to inflate some 260 rates And we're gonna crisscross the part inside over here. So it pushes out the balloon from the inside. We're gonna tie it to one end. You can see this 260 rate. It's gonna be over here. So move it to one end, tie it in. Move it to the other end. Tie it in. Move it to the other end. Again. Tie it in. And move it back to the other end. If it's already the end, just take the end of the balloon and just tie it across. Alright.
So you can see, 260 inside is pushing out. So, 360 over here is connected together due to the pressure from the 260 over here. Alright. I'm going to continue to make the head higher. So I'm going to take more 260 rates. I'm going to place it. So one. Oops. <laughs> so we're going to play another one. So one. Tie it up. Two. Tie it up. So same thing over here. To move up one level, you're going to do a bubble and a pinch twist. So one bubble. One pinch twist. Lock it. And do the same for the other side over here. So one bubble. And one pinch twist. Lock over here. So while the balloon burst over here, don't worry. We're gonna fix it. So anytime your balloon bursts, you can fix it easily, don't worry. Let's play a new 260 rate. Tie it to the part that was deflated or exploded. And just cover it back up. So I just fixed it. And tear off. And keep it. Just in case you need it more. Put it aside. So let's continue with the top to make it higher. So remember, for this part over here, where you have to do one bubble and one pinch twist to, to make a second level, you can do them on your 260 as well, don't worry about it.
So when you're around this height, we're gonna taper off to make it really, really very short. Same thing, one bubble and one piece. And a bell, one bubble, one piece. We're gonna pull it rather tight. Same thing for the other end as well. The point tight. So see it's getting a lot shorter from this over here compared to this over here. So tapering off. So I inflate one last balloon as you can see. It's rather tight all the way to the end. I just inflate one balloon, 260. Same thing, one bubble over here. But instead of doing a pinch to it, you can see it's really very tight. I'll take a new balloon. I'll do a bubble over here. Now we'll interlock them. Now we'll pinch twist this. Bubble instead. Alright, so you can see it works the same. One bubble, one pinch this, and go to the next, to the next level. So I think this, this balloon over here, I'm gonna move it across but shorter than this balloon over here. See it's really short now. You see it's comp this compared to this over here. Same thing over here. I'm gonna do one pinch twist. So a bubble. Twist it off. Spot over here. Same thing, one bubble. And instead of doing a pinch twist, I'm gonna take this pinch twist that we just did and lock it in. See? Pinch twist, the bubble over here, and the pinch twist. And I see a new level that we just created is very, very short. Let's take the remaining 260 rate, the long one. Do it one more time across. There we have it. You can see the size is tapered off to get smaller and smaller. So everything over here is gonna tear it off. So this part over here, tear it off, donate it, hide it inside. This part over here, tear it off, if you need it. Hide it inside as well. This part over here as well, you can tear it off. Save this part over here. We might need it later to repair, you never know. Same thing, the excess, hide it inside. So it should be clean like this. The face, the forehead, it's covering half of the forehead, and slowly tapers off at the top. Here. All right. I'm gonna move on to the sides over here. I'm gonna get 260 red and 260 gold. So one red and a gold 260. Inflate the red first. And the gold. Okay, so this rate over here, we're gonna be doing. Oh no, the gold first. So we're gonna be doing a square. So one. Pinch this. 
right? Same thing this size over here to here. Pinch. Doing this size over here. It's all equal again we are doing a square. Alright. And one last one. So what you're done with, one, two, three, four long ones. Gonna do one, two, three, four pinch twists. They're completed. Let's take this nozzle over here and tie it into here. We have a square like this. Now we're going to cover the square one more time. So this part over here, we're going to tie it over here. Okay, so yeah, bring it across. Continue over here, we're going to bring it across. Bring it across. And bring it across. There we have something like this. So we're gonna tear this off, we don't need it anymore. Same thing, make sure you kind of roll it around anything. A nozzle or something. So it kinds of lock it. Yeah, it looks something like this. And then we're gonna move on to the red. We're gonna just we're gonna tie it in to the gold part over here. As tight as possible, we're gonna pull it really tight and tie it in. Right, as you can see, it's really solid, it doesn't roll around, it's firmly attached to the RAID 260. Alright, so that's one down, bend it a little, over here. So we can tie this to the head over here. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Alright, so I've done two identical ones. I'm going to move on to the inner side over here. I'm going to get your 5 inch red. Inflate it. Like this. Let go air a little bit. Around this size. Tie it off. I'm going to do the knot. Pull it towards the nozzle all right so it's a little bit more soft we're gonna take the index fingers clip on to the part over here the nozzle part over here thumbs underneath then squeeze it the index meet your thumbs you see I'm squeezing two balls on one balloon let's twist it So it's roughly the same size. I'm gonna take one of this and slot it through the middle. There we have the red in the middle, covering the hole. So do the same for the other side. I'm gonna take. 5 inch again, inflate it, inflate the air a little, tie it towards the nozzle, index at the top, thumbs at the bottom, twist it off, we have two round balloons, slide through the middle, and 
So you have two identical ones. So you're gonna tie it to the hat. So take the head over. I'm gonna take one first. I'm gonna measure roughly around here. I'm gonna make it so long like this. Just roughly this length will do. I'm gonna tie it into the bottom of the hat. One of the first. Very tight in, you can tear off the excess. Something like this on one end. Alright. I'm gonna move to the other end. You can measure here first. So roughly around this length. Yeah, kind of pinch it already. Twist it in immediately. And I will tear off the excess. But since it's so long, I can keep it. I'll tie it up. Put it all over here. I'll make sure. Did not. There we have it. One on each end. Now we're gonna do the outlines of the head. So that you're gonna get more 260 gold. Get your 260 gold. Like this. So we're gonna line the bottom of the head first. We're gonna tie it in. And line it across. Make sure it's rather tight. Tie in. Move on to the other side. Tie it in. Tear off the excess. How you look like. Something like this. Alright. I'm gonna line the gold part around the head. So take more 260 gold. Plate it. Tie it. The bottom. We bring it up. Go around this level over here. We we'll tie it in. Bring it across. Top. And tie it back at the same level over here. And then tie it back down all the way. Like 
this, the head is off. Let's see if I have enough to tie it across here. But it's not enough, so I'm gonna deflate it. To get a new one. Oops. Oops. Don't know why I keep bursting. Let's tie it across over here. So tie it in here. Alright, so bring it across. Along this balloon with this spin twist over here. Have it looks something like this after lining everything. Right. The same thing over here, gonna tie this head is off. Don't need it anymore. But we can keep it just in case we need to repair any balloons at first. Alright. Let's move on to the jades over here. So for the jades, we're going to get a 260 green and a gold. So we're going to inflate a new 260 gold. Oh my god. Alright, we have our gold. We're going to get our 260 green. 260 green and 260 gold. I'm gonna do the gold first, so it's very very simple. I'm gonna make a long elongated balloon. One piece first. Another elongated balloon. Same size. Another pinch twist. Then, take this nozzle over here and tie it to the other pieces. And tear this off. I'm gonna make one exactly the same, but don't worry, I'll finish this off first. So, after you tear this off, remember to do a dead knot. The part where you just tore off the balloon and the nozzle, do a dead knot, to kind of stir it. Alright, you're gonna get your 260 green, tie it to any of the ends, dead knot as well. Move it across and tie it to the other side of the pinkfish. I'm gonna tie this off. There we have one. Then for the other side, same thing. I'm gonna do a smaller one. So a smaller elongated bowl. Push this. Same size, longer one. Push this. Lock it together. Take out the excess. Remember, once you take out the excess, tie it together with the knot. Now with this, take your green color and tie it to any of the ends. Move it across to the other side. The 
something like this. Tear off the green. And same thing, gonna tie a dead knot. So it's secured. There we go. So one, two. That's when you're gonna, you're gonna do a little stick. The smaller one over here. And the bigger one at the bottom. So there's some proportion play in place. Alright, so now we're totally done with the head. I mean the hat. So let's move on to the hair over here. So we're gonna get our 260 blacks. We got our 260 black over here. We're gonna do the side burns first. So after you inflate the black, get your head. Go tight to the side over here. But as you can see, it's getting a, li a little too tight over here. So usually what I do is I will do a loop like this, twist it off. Now kind of measure the sides. So this size should be all right. Okay, gonna tie it off. So one did not, two did not. Then I'll tear this off. Oops, just burst. So you have one balloon over here. Gonna do the same one. Measure the same size. Like this. So you get the other balloon and measure it up. See it's roughly the same size. Yes, it is roughly the same size. Like this, slot through the middle. Go on to this. Two fingers. Pinch. And kind of. Wrap it over the balloon and two fingers I'll go underneath and pull. So I'll show it again. Two fingers, spread it apart, wrap it across the top and slide it underneath the bottom and tie it up. I'll show it one last time. Spread apart. Take this part over here, wrap it around the top, go through the bottom not it. So now I can tear it off. So we have two over here. So we're going to tie it, same thing, into the pinch twist at the sides. One over here, take the other one. We have one on each side. So one over here, the other one over here. Don't worry about like this one being too low and this one being too high because we're gonna adjust everything later on, alright? Now we move on to the moustache. It's pretty tricky. Inflate. Rather long 260. Tie it off. So we're gonna kind of measure where the moustache will be. So this is where the eyes will be. Push up a little bit. Alright. So let's see, maybe the eyes will be somewhere here. It's the Mossad, I mean the eyebrows will be near the head. So the eyes will be here. So 
the moustache should be sound be over here. Got to kind of measure it. Best. So you reach the end of the head. You can see the tip of the black balloon. So you roughly reach the end of the head. Curl. So this curl over here, we're gonna do a pinch. A pinch. This. Move it to the other side. So you should somewhere curve around here. This part over here, I'm gonna do a pinch as well. Once you got to loop, you gotta end it at the same level, roughly here. Check it again, see if it's roughly the same level. Maybe a little bit longer. So you have a U, U shape like this. Gonna tear it off. Tie it up. It may look weird now, but later you'll make sense, alright? Now one last one, we're gonna do beard over here. The beard is somewhat like the sideburns. The same. We're gonna be doing a loop as well. The same thing, a loop. Same thing, gonna lock the tie it up. So same thing, two knots. So one knot, two knots. If you're afraid, go for three knots. So you will definitely not, definitely not come off. So tear the excess. There you have the moustache that will be placing it over here later. A small one. Alright, now we are totally done with the head. We can move on to the arms where you'll be holding on to the ingot. Alright, so now we we'll move on to the hand. We we'll take our 360 red. Inflate it almost all the way. So we're doing big and long. Uh, bubbles. So, um, we're gonna be doing roughly around this size. We're gonna do a pinch twist. Same thing for the other side. We're gonna tie it in over here. Size. Pinch this. We're tying it into the pinch this. And then, we're gonna move on, same thing. To the next level, so one bubble and one pinch this over here. So one bubble. And one pinch this. Same thing on the other side. So one bubble and one pinch twist. We 
do roughly this in size. Tie it to the other side. So the one that we just tied in, gonna ignore this. Move on to the other one, the longer one. Make it the same size. Just keep repeating it. So one bubble, one papers. Same thing for this side. One bubble, one papers. Roughly the same size as well. You can see it's getting a bit too tight, so I'm tearing the end off. So it kind of let go the air and tighten to the other side. Same thing for this side. The tie to the other end. You see it's a bit too tight as well, so I'm tearing it off. There we have three layers. Same thing, gonna move on. Inflating two more. One you can tie it in immediately. Take the next one. Tie it up and tie it to the other end. I'm going to move up another level. Same thing, one bubble and one pinch twist. Then, it's not going to do it slightly smaller. I'm going to taper down. And then over here. One bubble, one piece twist. Tie it in. See the shape slightly smaller than this. We'll do roughly the same size again. So one bubble, one pinch twist. Oops. First. It's okay, we'll move on to the other side first. So one bubble, one pinch twist. We'll play a new one.
find a new one. Tie it up to do a dead knot. Something the one they just tied in, so one bubble, one two twist. Bring it to the other side. Same thing again, one bubble, one piece this. Roughly the same size. That end, one bubble, one piece this. Tie it in. Same thing, not the one that you just tied in, move on to the other one. Do roughly the same size and tie to the other end. Alright, same thing again, one bubble, one pinch twist. So every increment of three, so one, two, three. And make it slightly smaller. And one, two, three. And make it slightly smaller over here. Alright. So make it even smaller over here. This part over here gonna do a pinch twist. The bubble. And the pinch twist getting really really tight over here. So you got two. Small hole. Bubble and a pinch twist. This end, tie it in. This part of here as well is very tight, so I tear it off. Make sure the size match. Go all the way in the air. Into the pinch twist. All right, gonna get one last fifty red. Tie it to one end. And just finish up all the way until you have nine layers. So three layers, make it shorter. Three layers, make it shorter. So I'm gonna do the last two layers over here. Alright, so I've done two identical ones. Now let's move on to the body. Alright, so next we're going to do the body. So we'll be inflating 12 inch round balloons. Alright, so we'll inflate 4 of them and tie them 2 by 2. So 2 balloons. Just wrap around together. I did not. Alright, so you have two and two. Just slot them through. 
I'm gonna inflict more. So you're gonna get a 260 long balloon. You're gonna tie it around the end, get the end of it, tie around randomly. And then you're going to do a dead knot, do it one or two times. So one dead knot, two dead knots. Alright, so it should be secured, it shouldn't come out easily. them both together, place them on top, and tie it together. Stretch it tight and tight. See the first cluster layer is over here, the second cluster. So you're going to line them up like this, all the way going up. Right, so on the third or the fourth layer, you're going to inflate one, uh, dark green color or jade color and tie it in. So that's where the belt will be. So it looks something like this. So this is where you'll do the belt later on. Alright. So let's continue. So once you're around this level, you try to close up a little, taper off the end. So it should look something like this. So these are the legs followed by the belt. The arm area. This is where you attach on the head. So you kind of take out your head and place it at the top so you can kind of visualize how it look like and for now the proportions looks good. So for the belt part over here, we're gonna take 260 blacks and we'll tie them together. So two by two. So two of them together and two of them together. And then we're going to cross each side. So for example, I'll bring this over to this side. And this will be brought from the other side to this side. Like this. Right. And then we're gonna pull it all the way to the back. So we're gonna reach the other end. Pull it back as well. We're gonna bring them all together. Make sure everything is tight. And we're gonna lock them together a little bit first. And we'll check the front. You see they look like this now. So it looks okay. It's tight here. And it's tight here as well. So we can kind of send try to center everything. So bring everything all the way. To the center. So once you tie it up, you can just tear it off. Wrap it around the others. If they will do a dead knot. You did not. And if you want to make it nicer, you can do a pinch twist. And 
and tear it off. Alright, so that's the back. This is how the front will look like. I'm gonna get a 260 gold. Alright, so now for the belt over here, Jade over here, I'm gonna get a 260 gold. Long enough to wrap one round. So the starting over here, we're gonna do two bubbles. Lock them together. Slot through. And one clockwise, one clockwise. Alright. What we're gonna do? Wrap it one round. Around. Make sure the gold go one whole round around the gate like this. All right. So next we're gonna be drawing the face. We we'll start off with the eyes and the eyebrow first. It's very important to draw the face first before you attach onto the body. Because once you attach it on, it'll be very difficult to draw. These are the eyebrows. Then we go on to the eyes. Eyes will be slightly longer than the eyebrows, like this. Next, we'll draw the mouth. The mouth will be somewhere around here, as the moustache will be here. So we'll fill in this part with white and this part with red colour. Alright, so we're gonna thicken the eyebrows a little bit more. Thicken the eyes a little bit as well. So now get a white marker, fill in the whites at the top. It's okay to overlap a little of the black. Because later we can color the blacks again. Alright, now we need to get our red marker. Over the bottom as well. There we go, looks something like this. Next, we're going to take our black marker again. We're going to be outlining everything one more time. Just smoothing out everything.
There we go. It looks something like this. Next, we're gonna take a spare long balloon that you don't want. We're gonna tie it to the bottom of the head so we don't stress the head too much. Alright. Do a one or two dead knots. Do one, one, one last one. Alright, and then right. So now you're done, you can take this the spare long balloon that you just tied on Let's tie it to the balloon Usual way. It should look something like this. Once you're tied it in. Alright, so now we're gonna be moving on to the arms. So as you can see the arms will be something like this. But as you can see the arms are pretty straight for now. So you gotta bend them like this. So to make it to make them bend, you gotta inflate 260 rates. I'm gonna Add more balloons in here. As you can see, if you add a balloon here, it will naturally space out a little, and you'll naturally curve a little. So every three balloons, gonna add one. So one, two, three. Just add one balloon over here. Tear it off. So you have one, two, three. Remember the new one that we add, just add on. So one, two, three. So this part of this part over here. So add the balloon again. Adding two balloons, one over here, one over here. The entire thing has curved. So you can attach it like this. So the hands will be somewhere around here. Alright, so we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Alright, so next we'll be moving on to the arms. You can see the arms over here, you'll be like this. And in between, you'll be adding on the, the hand. The hand's very simple, just two sausages back and forth. So we're going to measure them roughly, slightly inside, right here. So this will be the length of the hand, somewhat. Come back again. Lock them together. It's not the end yet. We're going to do four times. So one, two, three. And four. I'm gonna tie a knot. Secure them. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four. Alright. I think I'll be adding on long balloons to tie them to the hands. So I got a long balloon spare one. Slot through everything. So we're gonna tie it like this. Get your hands. We're gonna tie them like this. So you can see, there are two balloons here. One here, one here. 
pull down one of them to the top and one of them to the bottom. And tie it to the feather part of the arm. The smaller ones should be below. Alright. Want to tie it in, same thing, you have to do a knot to secure it. And tear off the excess and use the excess for the other side over here. Same thing, tie a knot. Get your other arm. Same thing you're going to tie each end of the long balloon to each end of the arm. But same thing you got to you did not them to secure it. Almost done. We'll move on to the back of the arms. To secure them, you just need two. 260. I'll take one first. Tie it to the end. Tie a dead knot. You see, it's secured. Move to the back. Wrap it around the body. So you keep facing the front. So from the back, we will stretch and tie together. Another 260. Tie it to the bottom. I stretch the console. Cross the bottom. So as you can see, it's tight from here all the way to here and here all the way across to here. Top from the front, it will be secure. All right. Now I'm going to add on the gold accents over here, so get our gold 260 again. We'll tie it there. So come down, tie it in. And bring it back up and hide it. Right, this one over here. Do the same thing for the other side. I have another 260 hole. Tie to the top. Bring it down. Tie 
bring it up. And tie it in. Tear it off and tie it up with a dead knot. Alright. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm gonna move on to the ingot. Alright, so for the ingot, you need to get your ingot foil. You can try to find it from a local supplier. And you're gonna slot this through your hand over here. I'm gonna secure it later. But if you don't have this foil of foil over here, don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to do it with just two round gold color balloons. Alright. So they don't look so both so both of these are 12 inch round. This is slightly bigger, I inflated slightly bigger, and this is inflated to roughly a 5 inch size. So actually the smaller one can just get a 5 inch round. So to start, you're gonna get a 5 inch. I'm gonna take a long balloon, same thing, gonna tie it around the smaller balloon and, and, and tie a dead knot. Alright, next for a bigger balloon, I'm gonna tie it, gonna inflate it around this size and tie the knot towards the nozzle all right next we're gonna be taking the long part over here pushing it covering our thumbs first can you see my nails are covered with the balloon and i'll pierce it in through here but to make sure you pierce it in through the center all right center in don't push it sideways or anything push it all the way through center and try to grab it from the bottom of the balloon so you can grab it maybe something like this alright, you see? alright, don't let go of this first twist it one round and grab another balloon pinky, fourth finger, hold on to it and wrap it around Right. Next, we're going to be doing the dead knot. Usually, I wrap it around like 10, 10 times or more, so it's very secure. Do a dead knot. Always do two dead knots. There we go. You can see the ingot is kind of lopsided to the side. It's going to go, just, just going to squeeze this part over here. Squeeze all the way, squeeze all the way, and then it looks center from the top. You see? The 5 inch round, or the small half, small 12 inch, is placed directly at the center. But if you squeeze it sideways, you see? Now it's moving towards the side and it's not center anymore. Like this, it is not center anymore. Right, you can see the shape is so very small here compared to a very fat. Lopsided here. I'm gonna push it all the way. Try to play around with it, squeeze a little until it's all equal. And this is on the center. Alright, and this can replace this. If you don't have this foil over here. Alright. So now I'm gonna be attaching in this foil over here. I'm gonna get a 260 long balloon. Same thing, gonna tie it to the bottom. Alright. Slide through. Nice slide through. We're going to. Try to tie it to the body.
you can see it's securely attached onto it. I can see the God of Fortune looks very young. I'm gonna add on the moustache and the beard right now. Alright, now I'm gonna move on to the moustache. As you can see, over here, I already pasted the glue dots. I pasted one, two, three, four, five glue dots to really secure on to the face. All right. So we're gonna measure properly. Let's screw this up. There we go. Kind of stick on the moustache. Hold it a little longer and let the glue fix onto the face. All right, now let's move on to the beard over here. The same thing for the moustache. I paste the glue dots as well. I pasted one, two, three, four. And you have to carefully stick on below the mouth over here. All right, so it looks something like this. You can see after you add on the moustache and the beard, it looks a lot older. Not like a young kid anymore. Now let's move on to the hat. So for the hat, same thing. I stick the glue dots on the end. Just stick the smaller one first. So it's more roughly around here. Can't really see how the camera little little. I'll bring it down a little. Move on to the big one. Stick it here or here. See which one you like it more. I'll look it here. So I'll stick it here. There we go. So it looks something like this. I'll bring the camera up a little. You can see. So it looks something like this. Alright, so we've come to the end of the tutorial. So you can see that God of Fortune is almost as tall as me. So uh, next you have to do is to add some weights at the bottom of the columns. Uh, usually I add water weights, but if you have those plastic weights or concrete weights or metal weights, you can use them as well, doesn't matter. Uh, next will be transportation. If you have any trouble transporting such a huge balloon, you can actually do the face, the head and the arms first. Things that require sculpting as they, they, they take up more time. And when you reach the venue and you set up the body, over there and you assemble everything on the spot. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any tutorials or any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll answer them. All right, I'll see you next one. Goodbye. So actually this God of Fortune is for a grand opening for a shop. So we done up this message. We place at the side. Then we have a smaller one. This is A4 size. And this is A3 size. Alright, so we put here. Which one do you think is better? Hmm. I think the A3 looks a little, a little bit, a bit better. But from far, this is more readable. So I think I'll just go with the A4.